Hi guys, welcome back to another nail polish of the week video. And first up, I wanted to mention that I am still wearing this beautiful Madame Glam gel polish design. Um, while I'm recording this voiceover, it is Valentine's Day and I've, I've been wearing it for two and a half to almost three weeks already. But let's continue with the nail polish for today. I'm starting off with clean nails and I'm applying my old but trusty Essence Cosmetics 24-7 base coat. This one isn't available anymore, but you can just use any base coat you'd like to prevent your nails from chipping and staining. As you can see, I do have some stains on my own natural nails, but you know, stuff happens. I wear tons of nail polishes and some colors are just too like in your face, too pigmented, and I just got stains through my base coat. So yeah, stuff like that just happens and it is the way it is. Stained nails aren't like bad health or anything. It is just natural. Um, I don't have any weird diseases. I get asked questions about my discoloration on my nails so much. But any nail polish loving person, whether you're a guy or a girl, will know that your nails just can't stain from particular colors of nail polish. And it is perfectly fine. Um, so I really wanted to use one of my new Catrice polishes and I got a bunch. I already used that metallic blue I just got out of there and this purple just screamed my name. I really wanted to use it. It is really, really gorgeous. So I'm just going to use this one and it's called 69. If not purple, then what? It is a beautiful medium purple. It's like one of those colors that just has to be super pigmented because you can see in the bottle it just looks awesome so just take off the cap or leave it on if you prefer that i just like to get rid of that because i have more grip without the bigger cap and i'm just going to apply that first layer to my nails and as you can see I wasn't wrong about it because it is so opaque. I think that if you would apply a thicker layer or if you have shorter nails, that it would actually be a one coater and you can just use one layer. But I felt like because I had to go over some parts of my nail a little bit extra, I had a couple of like um, bald patches or it was just a little bit sheer. So you just want to go over that with a second layer later on. And of course, always remember to cap off your edge to make sure that your manicure lasts for a long time. And of course, as usual, if you have any flooding on the cuticle area or onto the skin, just get rid of that with your fingernail or an orange wood stick or even a brush with a little bit of acetone or nail polish remover. So you just want to continue polishing your nails and I mentioned this before but now I'm recording this voiceover. It is Valentine's Day. Um, I pretty much took the day off of work because I had some errands to run this morning. And yeah, I just really wanted the day off because it's Valentine's Day and my husband had a day off of work as well. And I actually picked out some new glasses, so that is pretty cool. I hope that they will be finished in about two weeks or something. So yeah, I can't wait to show you guys my new glasses because they are a little different than what I have right now. And I just really like them. I really like going out to shop for new glasses because they can really like suit your personality and just add that little bit like of an extra oomph to your look and your style and stuff like that. I really don't mind that I wear glasses like on a daily basis I am not like obligated or I don't need to wear them like full time um, my eyesight isn't that bad but it's mostly for just driving in my car and stuff like that so I can still see everything perfectly if I don't wear my glasses it is just that for like uh, far distances and stuff I pretty much need it because otherwise it's just one blurry haze but here I am applying the second layer already. Just look at how beautifully like opaque and pigmented this is. It is such a beautiful color and I really love the fact that Catrice Cosmetics also has 100% vegan polishes. So there's no like it's not tested on animals. It is uh, cruelty free and it is just really, really neat. It's all plant based and they do smell a little bit different than your like traditional nail polish scent, but that isn't like a bad thing. They, they still 
kind of smell like nail polishes, but they smell a little bit less like toxic if you want to put it to that but yeah i'm just going to finish this off with my um catrice gel like um top coat it isn't a gel top coat so you don't have to cure it in the light or anything like that but i just really like this one i just recently bought it and i can't remember if i used this in my previous nail polish of the week video but i really really like it it dries pretty quickly as well and it just gives a beautiful shine to your manicure and it does stay put on your nails a really long time as well so i usually switch up my designs or my manicure uh, once a week but sometimes you don't have enough time so you just leave it on for a longer period of time and it still looks pretty good even after like 10 days. But yeah, that was already the design, or not the design, <laughs> the nail polish of the week video. Do let me know what you think about this color. Um, it is in stores right now, and I think it has a price tag of about €3.59 or something like that. It is still pretty affordable, and they are 100% vegan, so that is a big plus. I really, really support any brand going vegan with their products, because it is just for a good cause, you know. And you might save the planet a little bit more with that but just look at that shine of that nail polish isn't that a gorgeous one but thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed i love you guys so much and i will see you in one of my next videos